Hey everyone, Ronin back. We're checking out some more love bites today, and this comment seemed to get the most uh, likes, so so I decided to uh, to humor this particular comment that suggested I check out Swan Song with a Chopin intro. So they threw in some classical in there, huh? Very interesting, and uh, and I'm sure shortly after that I get my face melted. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in. Okay, holy shit. You know you're hot shit when you you normally do like this thrash metal kind of thing, uh, and then you start the whole thing off with a with a Chopin piece, and everybody is just you can hear a pin drop in that room just listening to this. And another thing I've I, I thought of as she was playing this is yeah Miyako is a is a very dangerous musician, in that she knows how to play not only piano but classical piano. So, you, so if you don't have um, analytical abilities to go along with the technical stuff of just knowing where to put your fingers and just knowing how to read, if you like understand the theory behind it, being able to understand the piece that you're writing, you are extremely dangerous because then you understand complex progressions. We're only seeing a very small part of what Miyako can do, I think, just in general as a musician. Then again, I've only seen a few songs from them, so maybe you guys know a whole lot more than I do.
Everybody's doing so good. I love her guitar tone. Back on the piano? Again, um, the fact that after their guitar solo, at some point they were probably like, what should we do after the guitar solo? Uh, oh, I know, I'll do some tapping. We'll do another guitar solo. They just keep going. I would have tapped out. I'd have been like, I'm done. I did my guitar solo. I'm done. <laughs> I'm back on rhythm. Yeah, Miyako, she gets back on the piano and then applies the Chopin piece into the song. See, like that right there answers like, I didn't think, I don't think I answered or asked a question in the beginning, but that basically answers it where I was talking about 
it's one thing to like learn the piece it's another thing to understand the theory behind it and how it could be applied and why it does what it does they applied it that means they understood the assignment so Miyako is a a very dangerous musician she knows some shit you know, so, so like her capabilities as a musician, vast. And she's just one member in this band. Every single band member in, in this band is incredible. Haruna on the drums, she's like carrying a whole lot of weight on her shoulders, just pulling off what she's pulling off, like just during like verses, which would be technically like theoretically more calm. <laughs> but like now nah, it's she's just constantly on, on the double bass and just she has to have an insane amount of stamina. She's like a nuclear-powered battery behind the behind the drums. I think I've decided I'm attracted to Miyako. She just has really great guitar tone in general, and she she plays piano and to that extent is nutty. It's insane. This is just one of those songs that's just impressive that you know a group of people came together and they made together and they're like, this is what we came up with. All of this one song. Like if I if I wrote something like this, I'd be tapped out for a while. I'd be like, I got no new ideas for like a couple months. Got to gotta leave me alone. Very talented. Even if it's not your cup of tea, there's just things about the band that, that you can't help but be impressed by. Awesome song. Probably my favorite song by Love Bite so far, at least performance-wise. It's badass. Glad I checked it out. Thanks for recommending it. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. See you guys next time.